You have no shame. That's a superpower, actually. Just allows you to see nobody but just yourself. I see you very clearly. Yeah? Very clearly. I just don't see you as the victim. You will just impose your way of living, eating, speaking, even fucking. I can't even get you to fuck me in any other way. I just, you just want me to follow your lead? That's what your notion of what a couple is? I don't give a fuck about couples. And I do not have any notion. And so you're telling me I'm stopping you from fucking the way you want, seriously? Who's been refusing to fuck since the accident? You know damn well that I meant before. Mm, and when have I refused anything sexually? Every time. Plus, I have to accept that you fuck other people. I do not fuck other people. Don't lie. Once. And you cling to it in order to suffer. You love doing this, playing the victim. I'm just telling you the way it is. You have fucked several times. And right now you're imposing all of this on me. I am not the victim. I am just a man who has been cheated on. Mistreated. You know, I can live without sex, but not forever. So you're blaming me. <laughs> I'm the one who's been frustrating you. Listen, it's not about who's frustrating whom. There's frustration and we're both dealing with it. Personally, I don't want to rot on the inside, so I just look for solutions. And at this point, now, sex is just a matter of like, I don't know, hygiene, personal hygiene. You impose solutions. Your solutions are solutions just for you. You just don't give a shit if it hurts me or Disha. I do not impose anything on Disha. Don't you dare fucking talk about Disha. You're the reason we're living here among the cows. Yeah? You're not a victim. You complain about a life that you choose. Your generosity conceals something far meaner and darker. You are incapable of realizing your dreams and you resent me for it. Like, as though I'm the one who brought you here, but I've got nothing to do with it. You're not sacrificing yourself. You choose to sit on the sidelines because you're afraid. You're petrified of your own standard and your fear of failure. You're smart enough to know that I'm right. And Disha has got nothing to do with this. Nothing. There's, there's you, nothing left between us. You have just given me my whole biodata right now. Huh? You've given me my whole biodata. I can't believe that's what you think about me. It's not. What the fuck were you doing with me all this while? I got stuck. Alright, we have a child. And it's not my fault that at your 35 and you're not even slightly self-aware. It's all on you. What exactly do you mean by self-aware? What do you mean? <laughs> you don't even know what self-aware means? Seriously? How am I not self-aware? I, I mean, that. the fact that whatever I said is allegedly a revelation to you means you're not self-aware. No, obviously. So if that's what you think, that I'm not self-aware, then I think it's really high time that we should not waste a single minute on each other's life. And mm -hmm. I tell you, I'm giving you this word. I'm going to take my daughter away. From from your stupid point of view, and I'm gonna pack my bags and I'm gonna leave this house. Don't come back and let's see which fourth of love gets you out of here, okay? Fuck off. And now I'm not leaving. <laughs> yeah, you're not leaving. Yeah. Of course you won't. You're here to live in my life. Yeah. How else do I mean it? Like this. This is what you clean, like this. What else? Tell me how do I ruin it? By being yourself. Hmm? By being yourself. Anything else? 
You wanna know where I'm, I'm heading to? No, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Just as long as you can stay gone, stay gone. I'm not going anywhere. I wish domestic violence wasn't a crime.